John. Yeah. Where's my chair? Oh, oh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, come around here. I want to show you something cool. All right. <sighs> Whoa. Right? I thought our old chairs were getting pretty boring, so I thought we deserved some cool ones. Cool ones? Yeah, because we're cool. Right, we're cool. Yeah, we're cool. We are cool. And we deserve cool chairs. That make us look cool. Sit in your cool chair, my man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh, this is cool. As cool as us. So cool. Cool, let's start the show. Cool! <laughs> this is not cool. I'll get the old chairs. Cool. Hello, I'm John. And I'm Brandon, and this is The, the So-and-So so Show. And as always, we are coming to you live. We're not live. We're coming to you pre-recorded from my basement. That's right, and today we're gonna be Oh, <laughs> sorry, I, I need to take this. Uh, Hello? Could you, uh... Oh, sorry, 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 yeah. <clears throat> sorry, yes, yes, I am listening. <laughs> All right, sorry about that. As I was saying, uh, we're gonna have a really great day. We're gonna be talking- What? Uh, we're gonna be talking at- uh, How much? Um, what we're gonna be talking about today. Okay, thank you for calling. <laughs> um. Oh no. <laughs> Okay, what are we doing? Uh, what was that about? What? What? 
I mean, we heard you. You sounded shocked and defeated, and then you started crying. Oh, uh, yeah, I was just talking to my car mechanic. Oh. Yeah, my car was in the shop. It was making funny noises like and and we're running in the shadows. I think the last one was the radio. Anyway, my mechanic just called to tell me how much it was going to cost to fix it. Yeah, fixing cars can be expensive. Yeah, although $150,000 seems like a lot of money. Yeah. What? Oh, oh, wait, this is him again. Uh, no, wait. I'll just. Wait. No, no, no. Hello? Yes? It is! Oh no! Why do you? I don't feel okay! <laughs> it's not 150,000 now, it's 250,000. John, you don't have that kind of money. But I need a car. You can buy 25 cars for that amount of money. The guy is scamming you. Uh, How long have you known him? Uh, as long as you've known him. Me? Who is it? Hello, anybody home? Oh no. That's not my mechanic. Yeah, it's Joel the Troll! My once arch nemesis and all around meanie who has changed his ways. <laughs> What's up, my stooches? I mean, customers. See? Loyal customers. <laughs> mm. How to make a house call because somebody was too slow at answering their phone. You called again? Oh. Oh. See? Mm-hmm. <laughs> now. Time for some more bad news. Looks like your conjugator is broken, <sighs> so that's gonna set you back about another 100,000 Gs. Oh no! Conjugator? Mm -hmm. What does a conjugator do? Uh, hello! It conjugates. Uh -huh. It sits in the engine next to the Flubbertron. Dude, this guy knows nothing about cars. Yeah, Brandon, leave it to the experts. All right, so what else is broken on John's car that costs $350,000 to fix? <laughs> what else? <laughs> Wouldn't you like to know? Yeah, I would. Oh, um, well, uh, his carbon baconator is all messed up. Oh, carbon now. baconator. Oh, yeah, yeah. And, and um, uh, the, the minifold and the um, origami nominator oh, is man. all just gunked up. Oh, really? And? Mm. And, uh, oh, 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 and he also needs uh, four of the um, the, uh, the round thingamabobs that uh, make the car move. Are you talking about tires? I was using the technical term. Oh, yeah. John, this guy is totally ripping you off. Yeah, none, really? of, none of these things are a part of a real car. Well, hey, hey, the Rolly Thingamabobs are. Those are tires. Joel, come on, man. I, I thought you got over being mean to people. Hey, hey, I'm not being mean. I'm being dishonest. Big difference. So you admit it? No. I mean, um, just, uh, yeah, actually, a little bit. Uh, is there actually anything that needs to be fixed on my car? I don't know how to fix a car. I can't even drive, legally. Oh, okay. Well, thank you for being honest, but uh, I believe I'm going to have to take my car somewhere else. Oh, man. See what honesty gets you, kids? Uh, <laughs> wow, okay. First of all, he wasn't being honest at all. He was lying to me this entire time. That's what dishonesty gets you. I heard that! And second, I just want to thank you, Brandon. If it wasn't for you, I would have spent $350,000 and be in debt up to my eyeballs. Hey, that's what friends are for. Oh, and what a better time to say, it's Bible Story Time with Kellen! I thought $350,000 was a lot for a doctor. Fellas, what's up? Hey, Kellen. My car's in the shop. Oh, sorry. Did the conjugator go bad? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I saw the whole thing with Joel the Troll. Good. You had me nervous for a second. Yeah, me too. Hey, what do you have for us today? Well, I know this may shock you, but I have a story from the Bible that I would love to share. What? You? Get out. I will not. However, it's one of those days where 
I'd really love your help telling it. Would you mind if I borrow your noggins? Not at all! All right, then it's time for a little human head puppet theater. So today's story can be found in the Old Testament in a book called Second Kings. It's in chapter five. The story begins with an army commander named Naaman. He had a painful skin disease, but he heard that there was a man in Israel named Elisha who could possibly help him with it. So. Naaman set off for Israel. I'm not sure what's worse, the skin disease or the bumps on this road. Whoa, 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 slow down, horsey, slow down. Oh, slow down. Once Naaman reached Israel, he found Elisha and told him about his skin disease. Go. Wash yourself in the Jordan River seven times. Then your skin will be healed. Oh. <laughs> what? That's crazy talk. <laughs> I'm not jumping in that stinky old river. No, 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 no. He did not want to do it at first. But Naaman's servants convinced him to listen to Elisha. And when Naaman finally jumped in the river, well, here goes nothing. Cannonball! Something miraculous happened. After jumping in the Jordan seven times, Naaman looked at his skin and he realized. <gasps> My skin! It's healed! Woo! 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 Hey! Hey! My skin is healed! So overjoyed, Naaman went back to thank Elisha. What you said would happen? Uh, happened! <laughs> now I know there's no God anywhere in the whole world except in Israel. So please, let me pay you. I serve the Lord. You can be sure that he lives. And you can be sure that I won't accept a gift from you. Please take it. No. Please. No. Please. Hmm. Again, absolutely not. Okay. Go in peace. Okay. I guess I'll just take my money. I might just leave that there. What is my boss Elisha thinking? Naaman wanted to give us a ton of money. I'm gonna get it back. You can bet your bottom dollar. Or my name isn't Gehazi. <laughs> so Gehazi took off down the road in the direction Naaman had left. He was so determined that he would get the money from Naaman any way he could. Naaman! Please! Hey, Naaman! Commander Naaman! Hey! Whoa, horsey! Whoa! Is everything all right? Uh, no. I mean, yes. Oh. I mean, can I catch my breath for a second? Sure! <sighs> okay. So, two young uh, prophets uh, are coming to stay with Elisha, and uh, could you give me... 75 pounds of silver after all? 75? <laughs> I'll give you 150 pounds of silver. And I'll give you two sets of clothes as well. Um, um, and maybe two of my offstage servants could help you carry all of that. <laughs> Thank you! Well, hmm. Cha -ching. What was that? Uh, nothing. When Gehazi got home with all of the stuff he got from Naaman, he quickly sent Naaman's servants away and hid all the money and the clothes in Elisha's house. However, nothing slipped by Elisha. <laughs> Gehazi, you are a sly one! <laughs> Gehazi! Oh, ah. hmm? oh uh, Elisha, yes. I almost didn't recognize you. You look different somehow. 
Where have you been? Uh, what? Where, 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 what do you mean? I, 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 I didn't go anywhere. Didn't my spirit go with you? I know that the man got down from his chariot to greet you. Is, is this the time to accept money or clothes? You and your children after you will have Naaman's skin disease forever. And that's exactly what happened. <laughs> Gehazi got greedy and couldn't understand why his boss, Elisha, didn't want any of Naaman's money. So he lied to Naaman and went against Elisha's wishes. But in the end, it did not turn out the way he wanted. What do you think, fellas? Ah, uh, wow, that is a harsh story. I hear you. Even though being dishonest might get you what you want, in the long run, it usually ends up hurting us and others. Well then, I'm glad we set Joel the Troll straight earlier. Y yeah, he, here's hoping he doesn't try to pull that kind of stuff on anyone else. Oh, sorry. It's my mechanic. I gotta take this. Hello? Uh-huh. A hundred thousand dollars? Wait, Kellen, it's, it's, it's not real. Troll. It's not real. He Don't doesn't know what oh. he's doing. No, no. <laughs> I got you guys again. <laughs> Man, you were good. You got me. Yeah, I did. Okay, okay. Until next time, I'll see you later. See ya. You know, Gehazi was willing to lie and scheme to get what he wanted. Yeah, obviously not a trustworthy fella. Yeah, hey, I think that has something to do with our question. Oh, well then, reveal, reveal the question. question. Oh, why is it important for people to trust you? Yeah, well, for one thing, I would like people to know they can count on me. Yeah, yeah, when people trust me, they aren't afraid to ask me for help because they know I'll do what I say I'll do. I like that. So what do you think? Talk about it together and see if you can come up with reasons why it is important that people trust you. Yes, and until next time, I'm John. I'm Brandon, and we'll see you next time on... The So-and-So -so Show! Name it! Please! Oh, I'm sorry, I moved this whole set. Aren't these cool? Woo! Woo! Oh, man. You gotta sell these things, John. I know. Wow. Wait, let's see, let's see. <laughs> All right, let's race in a circle. I'm dizzy. Get set, go. Oh! Ah, no, 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 no. <laughs> go. <laughs> Roll, He's a giant. Roll, Roll your, your boat. boat. Gently across the roll your boat basement. <laughs> <laughs>